In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at how you can change the volume or gain in one of your two channels independent from the other on an audio clip. This comes as a request of one of my subscribers. In this case, I've placed an image on track number one and let's accompany it by some audio. I'm going to take my audio clip and drag it down to the audio of track number one. I'll play a few bars of it. You can hear the music. Okay, so let's assume that one of the two audio channels is louder than I want it to be. How do I edit that? I highlight the audio track, then I right click on that. I choose Edit Audio, and from the secondary menu, I'm going to select Audio Editor. That opens up my Audio Editor. Now you notice in the upper right corner, it is set for both channels. And I do have a, a volume or gain control at the bottom. When I hover my mouse over that, I can drag it down and it will decrease the audio, but it decreases it in both channels at the same time. That's not what I want. So I'm going to undo that. And I'm going to click on the second button, which allows me to edit a single channel. Now the channel you're editing will be the one with the black background. The right channel is on the top, the left channel is on the bottom. So let's click on the bottom channel. Now we're editing the left audio channel. Let's assume we want to simply decrease the volume of that channel compared to the other one. If I use my audio gain control, that's what I think I should do, and watch what happens. It decreases both of them identically. Again, that's not what I want. So how do I solve this dilemma? What I do is I need to go to my effects area on the left. Under the volume, I have a dynamic range compression. Let's click on that. Now you notice you have a ton of sliders here. We're going to ignore almost all of them, except for the top one, which is output gain. So I'm going to take the slider and drag this back a little bit. And we're going to lower the gain on that channel. I can listen to it if I have Apply Result selected and click Preview. Now I will hear that and I will hear only the left channel. If I want to compare it to the original, I can click back on that and preview it. And I will hear the difference. So let's assume we have it where we want it. I click on Apply. Only when you click on Apply will it actually change the waveform. So now I have the waveform changed. Now I can click on the play button on this screen and I will hear the difference between the left channel and the right channel. Now, unfortunately, we have rendered this entire tutorial to mono, so you can't hear the difference in the tutorial. But trust me, by looking at the waveform, that's how it works. If you want to start all over again, you simply click the undo button on the left and you can either modify left or right channel to your heart's content. So let's assume I like what I did. I'm going to click on OK. I'll get back on the main screen. It will reload the audio, and I will have a different volume on left channel as opposed to right channel, and it will play in my production the way I desire it because I've been able to edit the volume independently right and left channel with the audio editor.